All right. Good morning, Live Younger community. We are here on Monday, the first Monday of October. It's October 4th. My name is Michelle Niels, and I'm your host today. And I share this wonderful 30 minutes with um, Karen O'Neill, who is a wonderful friend. And one of the reasons I love LifeWave is because you make so many beautiful friends, like-hearted, like-minded people who want to help and serve. And that's what we're here to do. And that's what we're here to shine. And it's a beautiful day in Colorado. I'm trying to find an angle where the sun isn't directly on my face. I'm looking out in, in a beautiful fall scene. Um, we have a little bit of summer today. It's like 80, it's gonna be 81 today. Uh, so welcome everyone. If you're new, we would actually love to hear from you and we won't embarrass you. We just wanna welcome you. So if anyone is here for the very first time, um, would you please just unmute yourself and say hello if this is your very first time or even maybe it's your second or third time but you've never said hello. So we would love to welcome you to the community. If there's someone new and you'd like to unmute and say hello, otherwise uh, I will share something. So we'll give another, we'll give a few seconds. If anyone's shy, we just wanna welcome you warmly into our community. And if not, just know that we are a very tight knit, community um, that is super open to new people and new ideas. And this round table, as Judy Daniels uh, called it, is a time for us to share the, our collective wisdom. So I'm hosting just because it makes it easier, but all of us have gifts and wisdom and experiences to share. So um, we, the purpose of this call is to share our stories and our testimonials about these incredible products, these wonderful life wave patches and to uh, ask questions if you have if you're new or if you need some help with a particular situation and just a disclaimer that we say at the beginning of every call and that is that the life wave products do not uh, diagnose treat heal prevent any disease or disease condition and with that being said we need to be compliant so we can have long and happy lives with LifeWave for many, many years. So we wanna be careful not to say disease names. So it's best to use symptoms, um, how you're feeling before you used a patch, what patch you used, and then how you felt after. So I'm gonna start with a cute little story. I'm house sitting um, for a couple of months in a beautiful home, and there's a sweet little beagle here uh, named Milo. And um, I found out the first night I was here that actually he doesn't sleep in his kennel. He actually sleeps on the bed. <laughs> so he has been sleeping with me. And um, I had an Eon patch one night on my cheek because um, I had, was having some tooth pain. And uh, I went, went to bed and I noticed the pain. And so I put the, I put the patch on my, on my cheek right, right near the tooth. And about three, four hours later, the dog woke me up. He was just restless. He was just moving around. He just couldn't get settled. And it was like 1.30 in the morning. I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And I, he won't go in his kennel. And so I took the Eon off my cheek, <laughs> took the other half of the backing off and stuck it on the back of his neck. And probably in about two minutes, that dog just settled right down and went back to sleep. <laughs> So like Robin will take a patch off and put it somewhere else on her body. You can also take it off and put it on your animal. <laughs> so there's my little start for the day. So if you have a share, if you have a question, if you have a testimonial, please unmute or raise your hand and we would love to hear from you. So who would like to begin? Oh, I'll, I'll follow up with yours, Michelle. This is Kira. Okay. Hey. Uh, I too am pet sitting, uh, uh, actually here in Colorado. And um, I too was not getting a lot of sleep, but it wasn't for the same reason. It was just a very restless dog that was scratching the carpet. Um, and I happened to have a Nirvana on. And I took the Nirvana off and put it on the dog's collar. And both of us slept really well the rest of the night. So I can attest to that, that yes, they're, they're very useful for both people and pets. Yeah, thank you, Kira. Thank you. When I got up this morning and I thought about the call, I thought, I wonder if 
we're going to have some animal stories this morning. So Kira and I started, you don't have to have an animal story, but even if you have an old story, animal or otherwise, person or animal, that even the story you've shared before, um, there's many people on the call that may not have heard it. So um, please, please share oh, anything. That, uh, I've, or a I've got another one. <laughs> yes, Kira, yes. Um, energy enhancer has been very effective for me uh, because I uh, have resumed hiking and uh, a group of us were hiking at Bryce a couple of weekends ago and I made it down to the hoodoos and uh, all the way back up and my knee didn't bother me any at all. And, and I had enough energy uh, and was surprising some of the younger folks. Uh, with the energy that I had to even make that trip. So how, how, energy how long energy, of a hike? Huh? It's 1.7. Uh-huh. And, and I haven't heard. heard that, uh, it's a total of, of, of 1.7 miles from where I started it. But the hike itself is supposedly 1.5. But there's a couple of tenths here and there that are added in. And it's, I took that, I took that part of the hoodoo challenge. I hiked the hoodoo challenge, which is something that you'll see in Bryce at the head of, of the Fairyland Trail. So if you go to Bryce, you know, bring your energy enhancers because it, you don't really need it on the way down, but you do need it on the way back up. And is, where did you put the energy? Where did you put uh, the energy enhancer? I always put it on the lung. Uh, on the lung points, uh, the one that's one of the ones that's specified to mm -hmm. give me that extra boost, and just it just it just works for me better there, and I Good. just I just don't feel uh, as exhausted as as one would normally think I would be because I am seventy so I am seventy three you know at the age of seventy three I shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> Good for you. There's this is this, there's there's no shoulds or should nots on here, and it's it's called the life wave. Believe it or not, story. Exactly. Every, every exactly. Week. Thank you so for beautiful. letting me share. Thank you. Thank Dale. you. Yeah. Gregory has your hand. You have your hand up. Yeah, I have my hand up, and many of you probably have met Max because uh, he gets on a lot of the calls, and Max is doing really really well. And the reason is because this is Max's collar. Okay, and you see he's got glutathione and X39. About 10 months ago, Max was on the way out. He had dropped from 12 and a half down to eight and a half pounds. We took him to the vet and they said, you know, he's got kidney failure going on. He probably won't last much longer. And, you know, he's 16 years old. So he's had a good long life with us. And uh, so, but we started patching him up. And now it's like it never happened. I mean, he, I mean, there's no telling how long Max is going to last because he's back. Max is back. And so Max is back. <laughs> Max is back. So um, <laughs> these products are amazing. They're wonderful. Oh, thank you, Gregory. Uh -huh. We love our furry friends. <laughs> we do. Uh, thank you, Gregory. And Kay, yes, Kay, you can unmute. Wait, this is for me. Kay, um, I see you have your hand up, but you're still muted. Uh, sorry, my husband came in to say goodbye for his golf game, and so I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm here. Since we're talking about energy enhancers, I have a, an unusual use for energy enhancers, which I've been experimenting with for a week. And that is, I, as an elderly woman, 79 years old, I have a problem that many, many women have of having to get up and go to the bathroom too many times at night. And so I put the energy enhancers, tan on the left, white on the right, on kidney one on the bottom of my feet about five days ago. I've been doing it every 12 hours for five days. And last night I slept for five hours without getting up. So uh, it's, I think that's something that could make a real difference for a lot of the women who are watching um, this program this morning. I wonder if it'll work for men. <laughs> I had that same thought, of course, that's prostate. And uh, I was treating for kidneys. Okay. So I do know that um, Dr. 
Hubbard, Dr. Jeff, has said on calls with prostate to wear the patches on your underwear um, right at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And so that's the only thing I know about the men. So you can experiment with it, Gregory, and then report to us. Okay. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kay. That I'm going to definitely take take that that tip. That's I that I get disturbed in my sleep too by an overactive bladder sometimes. So thanks for that, Kay. We have you know Raya. I think it was Raya. Yeah. Um, there you are. I see. Yeah. You have been trying to get my attention, <laughs> and there was other things going on. And so let's take you first, and then Sharon. I, yes, Raya, go ahead. I was curious about the patch. And you said you used half of it. You took just half of the paper off. And Are you, you asking me? You, yes, you about the dog about yes, because when I when I use a patch, when I use the patch at night, because I'm only in bed for you know six or seven hours, I just take off half the backing, whether it's Alavita here or um, Eon, I take off half the backing and I wear it, you know, for six or seven hours, however long I'm in bed, and then. I, I then the next night I take the other half off and okay. I use it. I use it again. But this in this case, I took the other half off to stick it on the dog because he was furry and I thought he needed more adhesive. Okay, so there's an, the other question is I use uh, my X39 during the day. At night, I attach it to some yarn and put it around my cat's neck. So to me, that's 24 hours that the patch is usable. So what I'm asking is, I, can I use the X39 patch twice? Because if it works the second time with a cat, why shouldn't it work the second time with me? And so I'm curious just how long we can use, reuse a patch. <laughs> I can address that. That is an excellent question. Yeah. That's an excellent question. I have a thought and I'll let Gregory, you go first. Yeah. Go ahead. Think of it, it's like a battery. There's these little crystals in there. And when they get activated, they're at peak performance for the first eight to 12 hours. And their performance starts waning. So yeah, you could uh, use it again, but it, it's only going to be have a, a smaller percentage of the efficacy in the second 12 hours. It does in the first 12 hours. So that's why we put the patches on our pet for the second 12 hours because they're a lot smaller. And okay. you know, so, so, um, so, but sometimes, you know, uh, like Michelle said, I use the sleep patch twice. I use it one night because I'm in, you know, I go to bed. If I'm in bed for six or seven hours, you know, uh, I've only used, I've only used it for six or seven hours. So I take it off put it on the sink and the next night I'll use the other half of it. So I do use some of the patches. The, the ones I use at night, I use sometimes twice. I tried using the Alveda twice because mm -hmm. I ran out of them and I, so I knew I wasn't gonna get my next batch. So I started taking them off, putting them on the back of my package and then I would reuse the uh -huh. next night. So, and it so seemed to feel... work so much, but yeah. Uh -huh. So you just peel half of the release paper off and then you can really peel the other half off tomorrow night. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. That was exactly what I was going to say, Gregory. Yay. Yes. <laughs> that's you. Okay. Mind. You're welcome, Rana. Can I add something, Michelle? Can I add something? Yes, to Karen. That? Sure. You can add. Yes. What, <clears throat> excuse me. What David said was that the, the main reason they don't recommend them is when you take them off, it, obviously because they don't last that long. They don't last 24 hours, I don't think. But, but partly that, but it's also, they can get bacteria on them. You lay them down somewhere and he doesn't want you putting something on your skin for hours and hours that has bacteria on it too. And I just wanted to tell you, I did a, it wasn't really an experiment, but I had been in a, an automobile accident when somebody ran a red light. I've forgiven her. Anyway, <laughs> um, my car was totaled and I was hurt somewhat. And um, I re-injured my knee after, as it was healing, I did, I fell on it when I, uh, anyway, it's a long story, but I took a used patch because I put them in baggies. I put them in a little baggie and I use them for things like this. My knee was throbbing. I had an X39 on the back of my neck, but my knee was just throbbing. So I took a used one, stuck it on my knee and this throbbing instantly quit. 
that lasted for about six hours. And I don't know that the patch was good that long because, you know, the patch could have run out and the knee just didn't start throbbing right away. But so I use them for little incidences like that and for my pet, you know, especially Eon. And the ones at night, like Alavita, that you don't wear that long, you don't sleep that long, you know, just be really careful about where you put them. And um, I think a little baggie, like a sandwich bag, is great. And sometimes, even if you've taken off both parts of the stickers, you stick it on that baggie. And if, you, if it hasn't been a hot, sweaty day, um, you often, the sticky will still last for me. I don't know. I have really dry skin, though. That's probably why. <laughs> anyway, that's my little bit of insight and experience. Thank you. That's why we're a community. We got great ideas. So I just want to say I'm noticing a lot of hands up and I really want to give everyone a chance. We've got Sharon. Uh, Rhea, do you want to take your hand down? I think we're done. Oh, hi, Sharon, hi, Chris. Um, oh, that's okay. Sharon, Chris, Helen, uh, yeah. Ravel, and Pinar. So we've got quite a few. So if we could try and just, you know, be brief with our question or our share, then we can try and get everybody in okay Sharon you're first oh where'd you go Sorry, I'm on my I'm on my iPad so I I am um, because I wanted to catch your your um oh. session okay thank you um I'm in London yeah. by the way so um I'm just gonna add before I ask my question I'll add a quick thing um to what you're saying what I do is I put on x39 and then the next day I put a fresh one on but the the previous day I'll put it on another place because I've had two hip replacements, for instance, so I might stick it on one of my hips, or and or I have a I have a problem with um, varicose veins. I'll stick it on the vein, and it's had great improvement. But I always use the use them twice, but with the new one on. If you know what I mean. Yes, I'm. Yes, that's excellent. It kind of goes along with what Karen was saying. The yeah. old patch has a little a little bit of juice left in it, so you can put so it on a sore spot. But... Absolutely. Mm -hmm. My question is, yes. sorry, very briefly. My question is a two part thing. Um, I've also got glutathione. I was taking it at night, but is it better to take it during the day rather than at night? And the other thing is I've got a lady who wants to start taking LifeWave products, but she's diabetic. Is there any, obviously I said X39 and glutathione, but is there any other things you'd suggest I recommend to her? Okay, a couple of things, Sharon. First, be careful that we don't name a disease state. So oh, you can yeah. say, for example, I have a it's friend that has blood sugar issues. Yeah. Yeah. Blood yeah. sugar challenges, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So, So let me go address the glutathione. I have heard David specifically, when he did a talk on glutathione, say that he recommends it being worn during the day because it does detoxify. And uh, when people yeah. detoxify, if they're wearing it at night, they might wake up with a headache. Um, however, case in point, I wear glutathione at night and I never have a headache. I, I don't either. And I, so wear it for, I, I, I wear it for 12 hours. So I'll put it on at say 10 at night and I'll take it off at 10 the next morning. Um, and, I, and glutathione is one of those you don't have to wear every day. David Schmidt has said that because it increases your glutathione production by 300% uh, over 24 hours, you can wear it every other day. So, Perfect. Um, and then as far as the blood sugar challenge, obviously always X39, always. And um, glutathione probably would be very good because of the de detox effects. Um, but you know, if she's new to LifeWave, then it's always recommended X39 for the first three months. Okay, the first three cool. months, 98. Um, so uh, we would go further, except that we have a lot more questions. Um, no problem. Thank you and so then much. Bob, Bob yeah. says he wears glutathione at night as well. Let me just add a quick piece about glutathione during the day. You know, our body yes. uh, detoxes through our lymphatic system and it needs movement. And so because glutathione does detox, it's really good to have your body moving because uh, if you're not moving, the lymphatics are not but they're like our body's garbage disposal system. So it's, it's another reason, but, but if you're having good luck with it at night, go for it. There's no hard and fast oh, great. rule. Thank you, Robin, for sharing about the lymphatics. That's absolutely true. Yes, thank you. So um, Chris, who's on an iPad, and then Helen, and then Ravel, and then Pinar, and then we'll wrap it up. 
Oh, well, good morning. Good morning, everybody from Bend, Oregon. Um, I wanted to ask, I don't know what's going on, but in the last nine days, I know um, four people that have broken something, an ankle, uh, an arm, a wrist, and they're all in different states. But I, I was just wondering if the protocol for that would be to um, put it on their cast or in the direct area, or if it would just to be to wear X39, of course, but and then it's uh, an eon for inflammation. But is there any other suggestions for that? I'm going to let someone else answer. I, I have some thoughts, but I'm going to throw it out to the community. So who would like to answer Chris's question? Well, what I've heard is take the X39 and put it underneath the cast, slide it in there, and uh, as close as you can get to the location of the break, and it'll accelerate the healing. So, oh, great. yes. Okay, great, excellent. And um, then besides the Eon, is there anything else? that you, It makes sense that Eon would bring the inflammation down, but um, is Eon and X39, Chris, both, because X39 is excellent for wound healing and you know you want those stem cells going to the area of where the bone broke right so <clears throat> so eon and x39 oh well, i you know I broke maybe my you know, arm carnosine too yeah well, i broke my arm and shoulder and i highly recommend ice waves as well because mm -hmm. i didn't have to do any heavy dead pain pills i did all the others and it was amazing how little pain i had so get those ice waves on there too ice waves yeah that was like a bulletin board of patches all over this whole area, but I didn't have a cast. I had a sling, so it's a little easier to put them on. Okay. And I'd like to just quickly add that I did try wearing the glutathione at night and um, I was just sweating like crazy when I feel, finally realized that I was detoxing myself and, oh. <laughs> and making myself incredibly, and I kept turning the air conditioner down and down and, and, and I kept just waking up sweating and sweating and realized, okay, I'm just putting myself in a healing crisis. <laughs> So um, I'm well, we just learning all kinds of stuff about glutathione today. I just want to share real quick. I, I read an article. I passed it on to um, Robin and Helen and Gregory, and it was about glutathione. And it actually said it can help with sleep. Now, not necessarily that you wear the patch at night to help you sleep, but just that having enough glutathione in your body will help you to, to sleep. So that's another benefit that I just read about. Great. Thank okay. You, so everybody. Helen, you're welcome. Helen and then Ravel. Okay, this is Tim, actually. <clears throat> so I'm trying to remember all these. As far as blood sugar, uh, we've also heard that you can patch right over the kidney. The, the pancreas. The pancreas, I'm trying to say, pancreas. And um, what else was it? Oh, as far as using patches the second time, it's also been recommended that you can pancake the old patch on top of a new patch of the same kind or different kind so that it's not on your skin. Uh, and thirdly, uh, back to Kay's comment about uh, Kidney One and Energy Enhancer, I've been using that. I would say also I have foot pain, so maybe that's my problem, and I get up in the night. But I haven't been getting up in the night as much just by ki using Kidney One and Energy Enhancer. That's my story. It, it, I love hearing this because it's counterintuitive, right? You think Energy Enhancer, you think energy. Why would you put it on when when you're sleeping, but I love, love the, the um, what, what, what I'm hearing today about people not having to get up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom by putting it on kidney one. So thank you. Michelle, Thanks, I, wear it, I wear it during the day and it's taking care of the problem at night. I just wanted to say that. Oh, thank you, Kay. Okay, great. Okay, we have Ravel and Pinar and then we'll wrap up. Yes, Ravel, please. Good morning, Good morning, friends. I'm learning a lot today. Thank you. I generally stick to X39 in the day and aloe vera at night, but I was so curious about SP6, so tried that. And just really quickly, um, what happened was really interesting. Uh, I started to really um, taste my, it felt like I tasted my food better. And um, I also developed and ate slower. It's interesting, but I also seem to develop I'm in my 50s now and uh, I've stopped, I never went through menopause and I started um, uh, having a bit of a period which I hadn't had since my 40s, which is unusual. 
anyway, I just wanted to share that briefly and also to um, have a just mention a very warm welcome to Dr. David Ayers, who's here visiting the Live Younger community. It's nice to see you here again. Have a great day. Thank you, Ravel. Welcome, Dr. David Ayers. Welcome. Awesome. I know SP6 is a great one. And thank you for sharing about the appetite and the tasting your food. And, and that is that can help you to lose weight, right? I mean, if we're actually tasting our food and slowing down, we're probably not going to eat quite as much. Thanks, Ravel. Okay, Pinar, you are you are our last share, and then I'm going to turn it over to Gregory and Robin. So, yes, Pinar, what would you like to share? Um, I have a question and a comment about using um, half the patch. I've had to explain to people that when you take off half of the backing, you're not activating half of the patch. <laughs> so, just as a comment, the whole patch is activated. <laughs> you're just using half the glue. But my question yes. is. I, <laughs> I've noticed that on the back of the sleeves, um, there are some letters and numbers, but the bottom numbers look like a date, like 2023-04, 2022-10. Are those expiration dates? And if they oh are- Oh my gosh. <laughs> why haven't I heard about expiration if that's what they are? Or what are they? That is a great question. And I'm going to turn it to Robin and Gregory. I, I don't know. I, I've, I've heard Gregory say there's not an expiration. Go ahead, Gregory. Yeah, I think it's just part of labeling laws for wellness products. They have to have an expiration date. But since ours are energy products, they're light energy products. If the crystals aren't activated, they're not going to activate it. So as long as you're storing them in a comfortable place, I personally, I, I haven't heard this from David, but just knowing what I know about physics and chemistry, I just have a hard time believing there is really a hard stop expiration date like there is for milk or, or, in, or something in my refrigerator. And Robert, 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 the comment. And we're going to get a good echo because we're in the same room. Okay, so, <laughs> let me add to that. Um, if you think of everybody as being unique and some people have more going on in their bodies than others that require more of the frequencies. So Dr. Karen Can has done some wonderful um, education on muscle testing. We call it, does the patch still have juice in it? Because people use it at a different rate. It's like the battery will draw. If someone has a lot going on, it's going to draw more from it. And so they're designed, we know, to last 12 hours. Can they last longer? Many people have had great experiences with longer. But Karen can, if you go to her YouTube channel, Dr. Karen can, and you put in muscle testing, um, she'll educate you, and then you'll be able to tell for yourself. And what was said earlier, the patch is activated when it's three to six inches from your body, whether or not the adhesive backing is on or off. And it's the whole patch. You know, we never, never, never cut the patch. You destroy the integrity of the product that way. So if you just, if you want to use it more often, you can use it less time. And so sometimes people can only handle glutathione for a few hours because they're having some, you know, detox experience or sometimes with X39 because they're having a retracing. So every patch and every person is different. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. Just got to see everybody. Oh. Hi. That's fun. We're all sitting in chairs. <laughs> that's so cute. That's I'm great. experimenting um, with Zoom. <laughs> so Robin, Robin, you, that's a great suggestion. I just want to make sure people know how to find. It's Karen Can. I put it in the chat. Is it K-A-N for her last name? K-A-N? Correct. K-A-R-E-N-K-A-N. And you can search her on YouTube. You put Karen Can LifeWave. Karen can yep. muscle testing. Um, she's a great resource. She's been with LifeWave for a very long time. She's an MD, she's an acupuncturist, and she's a world-class athlete. So she has great patching tips and protocols that you can learn from. I, I trust her, different than some other people that are out there. 
And I just want to comment, you know, a lot of things came up in the chat and being the host, it's hard for me to pay attention to everyone on the screen and read the chat. So I just want to give a shout out to our beloved Ravel. She is just amazing for responding to people in the chat. Thank you. Mwah, mwah. Um, she, she responded to someone in the chat and then Robin responded on the blood sugar issue. So if you can read the chat while we're, while we're here, there's a lot of good stuff there. Um, so I'm going to turn it over to Robin and Gregory to share about tonight. So over to you. Thank you, Michelle. That was beautiful. So tonight, uh, Gregory, do you want to share? No. <laughs> So we have a lot of fall sprinters that are doing really well. And those of you from the spring sprint that actually had over 50 points are um, invited on a call today where David's going to talk about the new product. And those of you that um, actually uh, earned over 50 points are going to get a sample of the new product. Everyone who attends Orlando We'll get a sample of the new product in person. And the rest of us have to wait till January. So, um, and it's, it's, it's very exciting. Um, I think you're gonna love when you hear about what it does and what it is. And uh, it's, it's quite fascinating because it covers many different arenas. And we also have a, a special announcement tonight that Gregory and I are gonna be sharing about some big changes at the corporate headquarters. And anything else, Gregory? No, I think that covers it. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. And I, I'm going to be working. I don't know if uh, Coach Clarissa is on the line. I'm going to get a very clear um, process for everyone that wants to be in her sales boot camp, which I want to be in. And we're going to get the process down, and we'll make sure that we let everybody know because ending the year strong makes the new year start strong. So let's end this year really strong. And I can't believe we're in October already. Oh my goodness. All right, thank you, Michelle. That was fabulous. Thank you, everyone. Um, um, Robin, love... can, can I ask a question, please? I'm Giselle from the UK and I'm very new to these calls. Um, I only managed to jump on like 20 minutes, 25 minutes into the call. And I'm wondering if um, you could tell me how I could find the recording of this call and also um, the, the, your call this evening. Um, will that be recorded? Um, yes. Well, thank you so much for asking. Um, these calls are on Facebook Live. If you're on the Facebook group, Live Younger, you can see them immediately and they'll go up on our YouTube channel. This call should go up on the YouTube channel today, liveatyoungeryoutube.com. And then you click on playlists and then you go by Monday morning chat and the most recent one. And that's Happy. the same, uh, same for the evening call because it's a little different timing for you over there. So the evening call you can find on the same thing on the Facebook group and on our Live Younger YouTube channel. Um, typically yes. the following day. Okay, okay. yeah, it's, it's 4.30 here now in the afternoon. And right. um, I, I find this this call, amazing. you know, I, I don't really have the backup and support. And if I want to go forward and I, I find I get so much from it and I, I watch Dr. Jeff, you know, questions with Dr. Uh, Jeff right. as a mom. But I, 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 I need, you know, the world we're living in now, this is, the, the product is so super amazing. And I just wanted to say thank you so much. I find these ah. calls um, so um, helpful. I'm really grateful and appreciate uh, you guys. Oh, thank well, we're yourself. glad to have you. <laughs> we're so glad to have you. Okay. Yay, welcome from the, welcome UK. Uh, absolutely, Someone... thank you so much. Thanks Giselle for saying what I wanted to oh, say. Oh, Sharon, you. you're on the call, hi. Yeah. <laughs> Who yeah. from the UK? Are showing up. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yay. Wonderful, thank you guys. We are, truly, we are truly an international family, aren't we? Yeah, we are. All right. All right, everybody, you can unmute. Or Gregory, do you want to do a global unmute? And then we can oh, all I, say goodbye. I'm not able to do that. They have to unmute. Oh. I can do a global mute, but there's no global unmute. So if everyone wants to unmute themselves, <laughs> say hello, goodbye. Yes, if you want to say goodbye. Hi from Texas. Bye, Thank you, goodbye. everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye. God bless. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Have a great week.
Nice to see you, Shereen. I see there's at least two doctors here. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, everybody.